What's going on, people? So, you know how you put in raffles and you generally don't expect to win? Well, that's how I live. So maybe you can agree with that. I don't know. But anyway, so I put in on this raffle the other day, right? And I think nothing of it. I pretty much forget about them immediately after they're done, right? I just look at it, make sure the price is like kind of okay, and then we're good. So that happens on whatever day. And then a day or two later, I wake up and it's like, hey, you've given however much money to so-and-so. And I'm like, wait, what now? Because for one, it's also in euros. So I'm thinking like, wait, what, what, what is this all about? Because, you know, it's the first thing in the morning and your mind isn't like 100% just yet. It's, I mean, for me, it's like 98, 99, you know what I mean? Because I'm that good. But sometimes that 1% is all you really need to kind of solve a problem. Anyways, yeah, I eventually got it all worked out. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, now I remember this. And now I have this box right here. And it seems like this box might work like the one yesterday where I'm able to get into it without having to break out these scissors. You know what I'm saying? Don't have to cut a box. But anyways, yeah, see, perfect. So here we go. We got this box came in from Well Gosh, right? I'd show you the top, but it's got my address all over, it, and that means I just have to block it out, which means it would be a waste of my time. But I can show you the top of this box. So there you go. There's that for you. And then on the side, you have typical Nike things, right? So make sure this is all on the up and up. Perfect. Because it's one of those UK sites, or at least they use UK sizes anyway. They actually ship from Germany. But the thing is, you know, you want to make sure that the sizing is right. And luckily with these guys, they were on top of it, unlike that Porter situation, which I will bring up every single time it is relevant because I don't care for how that played out. But go watch that video if you're curious about that whole thing. I'll save that rant for another time, perhaps. So here we go. Oh, wait, let me read this side here. Black, white, and safety orange, right? Remember that song, The Safety Dance with Men Without Hats? I saw them live once for, you know, because I wanted to see that song. I was like, you know what? This could be entertaining. They're actually really good. I was very surprised by that. Anyways, let's see. Let's go ahead and get on into these, shall we? Now that's not looking too bad. Not at all. Let's take out the other pair, though, because we're only halfway through, right? If you only look at the first one, I mean, you're selling yourself short, you know? Shout out to Less Than Jake. So, everything here seems to be on the up and up, minus a slight blemish on the outside of this one. But that looks like that's, it's not super noticeable. You see what I'm talking about? Not super noticeable, but it is there. But regardless, can't complain too much. And what was the price of these? Because I want to say in, in the end, I paid one, I think it equated out to like 170. Oh yeah, of course, it's the overseas thing. They don't have the sizing, or they don't have the pricing on the side of the box. But that's fine. I do like the Safari stuff, so that's why I was all in on these. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a huge 90 guy, but when the color is right and the price is right, that means that the time is right. So speaking of times and whatnot, it is now review time on this right here, ladies and gentlemen, the Air Max 90 and Safari, I suppose. I don't remember anything special about the name, so I'm just going to go with that. Now, it's been a while since I picked up an actual Safari shoe in this styling or whatever. I mean, I did get those reflective Safari Air Max 1s. I got those Safari Safaris, basically. And then, what, somewhere along the way, I got those Safari Prestos. But it hasn't been... Oh, man. It's been a long time since I got something like this, and the last one I can think of was the Telerius in like 20, it might have been 16. So I'm a bit overdue, a bit overdue. But that doesn't much matter. Reviews matter. So we're going to start this one with the bottom, of course. So across the bottom here, you've got the standard thing that you've seen on pretty much any other Air Max 90. This one just happens to be orange and black. Moving on to the midsole. So there you have pretty much the standard thing you've seen on every Air Max 90. Again, just orange and black. So, well, you do have a blacked out midsole, or blacked out bubble, so that's kind of a nice touch, I suppose. But otherwise, everything is very much plain and simple. Now you move on to the upper here, and that's where you have some changes, right? So down here across the bottom, right above the midsole, right, that area there, I'm not sure what that material is, 
it almost feels like those like those green 12s was that the cp3 12s or something i'm not sure what that material is it's not i don't think it's it's not new buck or anything anything like that but i'm not the greatest with materials just know that it's soft and then moving past that slightly past that you have of course the safari print that goes above that part all the way up through the middle of the shoe and even down above the toe box so that feels like the typical stuff that you have on any other shoe with that styling on it at least from what i've seen so that's pretty cool and i gotta say overall even with my, my bias aside i think it came out pretty nicely the way they did it you know so moving past that onto the actual toe box this here you got some leather action going on down there you see that yeah you do it's pretty pretty all right as far as my opinion goes it feels really good so does that mean it's good quality leather i don't know it just feels good though i can tell you that much moving on up we got these little orange pieces here holding down the bottom area of the laces and a black piece similar to the orange piece but in black holding the top part of the laces moving back around to where like your ankle would be and all that good stuff you've got this typical meshy style thing going on which is also very plush partly to do with the sock liner which is also black you know what i'm saying but again very cushiony looking to it so moving past that right along to the back side here you've got that nike air thing on the back with the orange and the black again because again, let's face it this is a lot of orange and black on this shoe and and for good reason because it works so there's that for you now let's swing it back around to these here laces right so you're looking at those laces and you're thinking wow those are pretty cool right i mean that's what i'm thinking they got the safari print going on on the laces so that is a very nice touch to me i haven't seen that at least not on anything that i have so you know when it's something's new to you it kind of catches your attention and then you move behind that and you've got just the standard tongue right nothing too crazy typical tongue got the nike air on there it's standard logo all that good stuff and behind that in case you're curious the production dates on these were from may to june of 2020 so these just kind of sat somewhere for the last four months just kind of waiting on their time to strike which is now also one thing i didn't quite mention because i kind of overlooked it for some reason you got a nice white swoosh down there in the middle on both sides of course and that is feeling like a harder leather type of material right on the toe super soft on here not so much and then of course you've got the standard air max logo in orange down there so there you go we've covered pretty much the shoe right and i gotta say these right here like you you take these you walk into any room real shoes in the room right you know what i'm saying of course you do anyways also the insole here you look at that you've got the standard orange and black once again no surprises there it's probably probably what you expected to see so there we go we have wrapped up the top of this shoe and now we move on to the sizing and all that good stuff right because let's face it sometimes people are kind of wondering what they feel like right and people also like to see what they look like so we're going to go ahead and do this now so here's the thing right when i wear these shoes or when i'm buying these shoes i go from my standard true to size size for me that's nine and a half at least on nikes and stuff well pretty much everything so i would suggest that to you right if you like a more snug fit you might be able to get away with going down a half right if that's your thing i, I kind of fluctuate between there depending on how I, how I feel for the day but safe bet true to size just gonna leave it at that comfort wise they're not bad right it's nothing amazing because after all it is something built off of a shoe that came out back in well 30 years ago but as, all that aside, it's still pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's probably why they haven't really made any drastic changes to them. So, and they still seem to be selling pretty well. Though then again, that's flawed logic because a lot of uncomfortable things sell pretty well. But just take my word for it. These are feeling pretty decent, though nothing to write home about. But again, 30 year old technology, what do you really expect? Are you really looking for peak comfort on these? Hopefully not, because that would be an error on your part. But anyways, overall, they're pretty solid shoes. They feel good, look good, all that good stuff. 
So we can go ahead and get this review wrapped up so I can move on. Got to do some editing on apparently more than one shoe now because the mail got a little crazy in the last hour. But anyways, this is it. This is the Air Max 90 Safari. If you want my thoughts, I like it. There we go. So that means we're done here. Have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm going to go knock out these other videos and all that good stuff. Maybe you'll watch those other videos and all that stuff. We'll find out together. All right. Later, people.